What's up guys? Welcome back to Janique TV. My name is Janique. Thank you so much for tuning into another video and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please go ahead and lock in with me by pressing that subscribe button. Also click on the notification bell. That way you never miss an episode of what I'm doing here. Today, I want to talk to you guys about the importance of being the person in your environment that always tells the truth. It is so important to be the voice of reason for people and to really show people who they are. You don't want to be an enabler. You don't want to be a person that somebody can call to just agree with them immediately. No, you need to tell people when they're wrong. I want to talk about in the Bible how there was a king who needed to consult a prophet, but he didn't want to consult the prophet because he says the prophet always prophesied bad things about him. So I'm going to read that scripture real quick. So I'm coming from 1 Kings chapter 22, verse 7, and it reads... But Jehoshaphat asked, Is there no longer a prophet of the Lord whom we can inquire of? The king of Israel answered Jehoshaphat, There is still one prophet through whom we can inquire of the Lord, but I hate him because he never prophesies anything good about me, but always bad. He is Micaiah, son of Imla. The king should not say such a thing, Jehoshaphat replied. So the king of Israel called one of his officials and said, Bring Micaiah, son of Imla, at once. Dressed in their royal robes, the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, were sitting on their thrones at the threshing floor by the entrance of the gate of Samaria with all the prophets prophesying before them. Now Zedekiah, son of Kenah, had made iron horns and he declared, this is what the Lord says, with these you will gore the Armenians until they are destroyed. So you had a group of prophets, false prophets, that were prophesying one thing when the real prophet of the Lord hadn't come in just yet, right? So this is what's happening. The prophets who are false prophets are saying one thing. They're agreeing with the person on the wrong behaviors. Let me say that. On the wrong thing to do. They're encouraging that person to do the wrong thing. They're enablers. And then here comes the prophet of the Lord. So it says, all the other prophets were prophesying and saying the same thing. Attack Ramoth Jaled and be victorious, they said, for the Lord will give the king, for the Lord will give it into the king's hand. Hmm. Author. Okay, now I'm at chapter 22, verse 13. The messenger who had gone to summon Micaiah said to him, Look, the other prophets without exception are predicting success for the king. Let your word agree with theirs and speak favorably. How are you going to tell me to speak favorably? Okay, let me, let, me just, let me keep on. And then it says, I'm on 22, verse 14. I'm on chapter 22, verse 14 right now. So it says, but Micaiah said, as surely as the Lord lives, I can only tell him what the Lord tells me. When he arrived, the king asked him, Micaiah, shall we go to war against Ramoth Jaled or not? Attack and be victorious, he answered, for the Lord will give it into the king's hand. So initially he agreed and, and said what they wanted him to say. So the king said to him, how many times must I make you swear to tell me nothing but the truth in the name of the Lord? So he knew he was lying because he had already said earlier, he said the God never prophesies anything good about him. So he knew he was lying immediately. So he said, uh, then Micaiah answered, I saw all Israel scattered on the hills like sheep without a shepherd. And the Lord said, these people have no master. Let each one go home in peace. The king of Israel said to Jehoshaphat, didn't I tell you he never prophesied anything good about me, but only bad? Micaiah continued, therefore, hear the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne with all the multitudes of heaven standing around him on his right and on his left. And the Lord said, who will entice Ahab into attacking Ramoth Jaled and going to his death there? One suggested this and another that. Finally, a spirit came forward, stood before the Lord and said, I will entice him. By what means, the Lord asked, I will go out and be a deceiving spirit in the mouth of all his prophets, he said. Ooh. You will succeed in enticing him, said the Lord. Go and do it. So now the Lord has put a deceiving spirit in the mouth of all these prophets of yours. The Lord has decreed disaster for you. Oh, my Jesus. I'm going to finish reading this because this is actually a good story. I don't know if y'all answered the Bible, but this is actually a really good story. <sighs> then Zedekiah, son of Kena, went up and slapped Micaiah in the face. Which way did the spirit from the Lord go when he went from me to speak to you, he asked. Micaiah replied, you will find out on the day you go hide in an inner room. The king of Israel then ordered, take Micaiah and send him back to Ammon, the ruler of the city, and to Joash, the king's son, and say, this is what the king says. 
put this fellow in prison and give him nothing but bread and water until I return safely. Micaiah declared, if you ever return safely, the Lord has not spoken through me. Then he added, mark my words, all you people. Oh my Jesus. Oh my Jesus. This is one of the better stories in the Bible. Not saying all the stories aren't, aren't great, but I really love this story because it really speaks a message about what's happening in today's society. A lot of people around you, they're going to entice you to do the wrong thing consistently because they want to see you fail. They're not going to tell you the right thing to do. How many of y'all have, like, like, real talk, just, just raise your hand. It's okay, it's just me and you. How many times has somebody around you convinced you to do the wrong thing? It was like the wrong move and you listened to somebody instead of listening to yourself and you made the wrong move. And it came out later. This is a real thing, right? God was standing around and he asked, who will entice him? Who will entice this person to do this? There was a spirit who said, I will do it. I will put a deceiving spirit in the mouth of his prophets, of the people he listens to. Because you're going against, instead of, instead of, instead of consulting the Lord, you're going to go and consult someone else. Like, no, this is not what God is saying. God is saying today, who the moral of the story today is, is people only want to hear good things, things that make their ears feel good, things that make their brain feel good, things that boost their ego and their self-esteem and they don't want to hear the truth. Like, no, I'm coming with the truth, period, point blank. Anybody I talk to, I'm coming with the truth. I'm, I'm not going to sit right here and sugarcoat it for your ego. I'm not going to sit right here and act like you're not a liar when you are. I'm not, I'm not going to sit right here and act like you are a, a, this amazing person and you're not. I'm not going to do that for you because that's not my job here. My job is to show you who you are. My job is not to show you who you want me to, to, to perceive you as because I'm not fake. And if I be, if I'm, and let's keep it a hundred. If you're going to lie to yourself about somebody else, then you're lying to yourself about yourself. If you're going to help someone maintain the lie that they have about themselves, then you're lying to yourself as well. And I'll never lie to myself. So hear me when I say, you need to surround yourself with people who are going to speak the truth to you. Don't surround yourself with liars, anybody who would deceive you, anybody who will entice you to do the wrong thing, anybody who would entice you to, to make the wrong move. Literally, he had a group of people telling him to go and attack and he would be victorious, but the real word of the Lord said no. No, pull back. Don't do that. You need to chill. You had already known that, but you still wanted to consult somebody because you wanted to do it so bad. People want to follow their own desires so bad when, when God has said no. God has spoken and you still want to go forward in this thing. Like, And, and the only thing you understand that, that really makes you stop doing whatever you're doing is to lose your life. And by then it's too late. So I hope you heard my message today. I hope you really understood what I was saying. Make sure you seek truth and not lies. It doesn't matter how it makes you feel. Okay, if your feelings get hurt in the process, that's fine. You know, because life is about feelings anyway. I hate people be, like, people be so scared to get their feelings hurt. <laughs> like, being humbled is amazing. You know why? Because it, it just keeps you at that level to where you're not going to, like, you know what? You got it. Like, I'm humble. I don't even care. You know what I'm saying? It, it Being humbled is not a bad thing at all. It's, it's not a horrible thing because being cocky, like you put your foot in your mouth a hundred times, a million times, and, and then you got to wipe the egg off your face. But if you humble all the time, like nothing phases you. So hear me when I say, if that person around you is telling the truth, keep them around you. If they're not, if you, if you, if you catch one lie, if they lie, if they lie to you, if they lie to you about themselves, you know they're going to lie to you about you. Come on. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't with the fake relationships. And this is a huge thing that's going on right now because we know Shadi Duop said that she likes aesthetically pleasing girls to go with her to the club. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Go do you or whatever like that. But once you, this this is my thing. If you, you've been unaesthetically pleasing before and then now that you have changed and made the switch, now you want to come for other people. Like, it's, it's crazy. And then the people that you think really F with you are the, are the ones that leaked the video. It's just so crazy. But I hope you got my message today. Hope you understood everything I'm saying. I rock with the real. I don't rock with the fake. And that's why you rocking with me right now in this video. <laughs> my name is Janique, Janique TV. I will see you in the next one. Peace.